Hello, how to solve for A and B in this equation, A plus B is equal to 11. AB is equal to 121. Solution. A plus B is equal to 11. Let's call this equation 1. AB is equal to 121. Let's call this equation 2. Then from equation 1, B is equal to 11 minus A. Let's call this equation 3. Also from equation 2, AB is equal to 121. Let's substitute for B, A bracket 11 minus A is equal to 1. 21. Let's open the bracket. A multiplied by 11. This is 11A minus A multiplied by A. This is A square is equal to 121. Then let's bring this 121 to this side. We have 11A minus A square minus 121 is equal to 0. Let's write this in standard form. We have minus a square plus 11a minus 121 is equal to 0. Now we can divide all through by minus 1. Minus a square divided by minus 1. This will be a square plus 11a divided by minus 1. This is minus 11a and then minus 121 divided by minus 1. This is plus 121 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. Our quadratic general formula is giving us a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this equation a equal to 1 b equal to minus 11 c is equal to 121 now let's consider b square minus 4ac which is the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 11 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 121 then this is equal to minus 11 square this is 121 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 121 this is 484 then if you subtract 121 from 484 you get minus 363 let's plug this into this equation a is equal to minus bracket minus 11 plus or minus square root of minus 363 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 a is equal to minus multiplied by minus 11 this is 11 plus or minus square root of minus 363 can be written as 363 multiplied by minus 1. Then divided by 2 multiplied by 1. This is 2. So this can be written as A is equal to 11 plus or minus I 
square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2. Therefore, a1 is equal to 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 and a2 is equal to 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2. We've gotten the value of a1 and a2. Let's solve for b1 and b2. To solve for b from equation 3, that is b is equal to 11 minus a, b1 will be equal to 11 minus a is 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 b1 is equal to here this is divided by 1 SM is 2 2 times 11 22 minus 11 then pl ma plus i square root of 3 6 3 everything divided by 2 then b1 is equal to 22 minus 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 then b1 will be equal to 22 minus 11 this is 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 now let's consider b2 for b2 comma b2 is equal to 11 minus a2 b2 is equal to 11 minus 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 then b2 is equal to 22 minus 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 b2 is equal to 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 this is the value of b2 therefore our final answers are a1 comma b1 is equal to 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 comma 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 and a2 a2 comma b2 is equal to 11 minus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by 2 comma 11 plus i square root of 3 6 3 divided by Two. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation a plus b equal to 11, then ab is equal to 121. Now let's consider this a plus b 
is equal to 11 plus i square root of 3 c is 3 divided by 2 plus 11 minus i square root of 3 c is 3 divided by 2 must be equal to 11. Now here the SCM is 2. So we have 11 plus i square root of 3 c is 3 plus 11 minus i square root of 3 c is 3 divided by 2 must be equal to 11. This we cancel this. Then we have 11 plus 11 divided by 2 must be equal to 11. 11 plus 11, this is 22 divided by 2 must be equal to 11. And 23 divided by 2, 2 year 1, 2 year, this is 11. Therefore, the left hand side, 11 is equal to the right hand side. 11 which is true now to check a b is equal to 121 we have 11 plus i square root of 3 c is 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 11 minus i square root of 3 c is 3 divided by 2 must be equal to 121 11 times 11 this is 121 minus 11 multiplied by i root 363 this is 11 i square root of 363 high square root of 363 multiplied by 11 this is plus 11 i square root of 3 c is 3 then i square root of 3 c is 3 multiply by minus i square root of 3 c is 3 this is minus 3 c is 3 multiply by i square then must be equal to 121 divided by 2 times 2, this is 4. <laughs> Divided by 2 times 2, this is 4. Then this, we cancel this. We have 121 minus 3 c is 3 multiplied by i square is minus 1 must be equal to 121. Then this divided by 4. Then we have 121 minus bracket 3 c is 3 times minus 1 this is minus 3 c is 3 divided by 4 must be equal to 121 this is 1 2 1 then minus times minus 3 c is 3 this is plus 3 c is 3 divided by 4 must be equal to 121 then here 121 plus 3 is 3 this is 484 divided by 4 must be equal to 121 and of course 4 year 1 4 year 1 2 1 therefore we have the left hand side 1 2 1 is equal to the right hand side 1 2 1 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.